All right, once I have the UVs done for this, I have something that looks like this. I went back to the Maya ones. Why did I do that? Because, you know, not all the students are going to use Blender to do the UVs. So I might as well use the ones I did in Maya just to prove that this works. Okay. Now, here, what we have to do now is adjust the envelope. I will say that envelopes are only so good. So what you should do is just make sure that all these things are a little bit higher than the geometry, like a midpoint of them. Because the envelope will stick out a little higher than that and then encompass the geometry altogether. Let me kind of show you. So we're going to take the lowest form here and see how this mesh is not encompassed by the lowest form. Okay, so take the lowest, take vertice, highlight one, control right click to shell. W and the keyboard, I'm just going to move this up to almost encompasses that bolt. Then I'm going to make sure that it's making contact with mesh. Okay, move this junction box out of the way. Going to right protect this one. Just move that down. Okay, go down below. Same thing. So you're always making adjustments here. That looks better. Let's just give it one more go over. I like this, but I think it needs to be average. So I'm going to grab the vertices and just go mesh. Oh, edit mesh. Average vertice. There it is under mesh average vertice. And then I'm just going to go into edit mesh go transform component and pull these out in blue. And pull these back. There we go. This looks okay. going to take this face and this face, scale them out. All right. I think we're ready. So the first thing we need to do is make sure Mental Ray is on. Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Maya Add to More, put a check here and here. Then, under Rendering, you can see that we have this. Okay, this is not grayed out. So that's a good indication that Mental Ray is on. So let's go to Transfer Maps. Okay, this wants your high and low, so your target mesh is the lowest, I'll choose it first, clear all, and then add selected. Then it wants its highest, so I'll choose it, this one's a little harder to get to, oh, and it's right protected, so. Add selected. Down below I use the final normal map and the ambient. Make sure you set your project file 
project set and choose whatever folder that you're using for the bake. I'm using the power box. Okay, I'm going to make sure I browse both of these and it'll go right to the power box. Sometimes I have to back up and just choose that folder and then hit open. So it should say the power box or whatever folder that you have in here. I want that in TGA format. Notice it says use Maya common settings. Okay, just that's important later. Same here, I'm just going to choose the power box. I want to keep that in TGA format also. This one says use mental ray common settings. So basically what that means is down here below I have to set my common settings. I'm just going to choose 512 until I get the map perfect. Then under mental ray, same thing. So I gotta change this in two different spots. Last thing I want to do is go to the advanced options and make sure I delete window or leave delete envelopes on bake off. Alright. Now let's go up. Under displays, I want to display the envelope. The envelope at 1.4 should encompass the mesh. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to have the envelope clash with, with itself because when it does, it's going to have very bad results. So here, I could take this envelope and push it in. Now I'm looking for any gray geometry. Or anything that might clip onto itself. I think that was my only problem area right there. Alright, I think I'm ready. I'm going to hit bake. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just turn on my high quality rendering. I'm going to hide my high res. And look at this map to see what's wrong. Okay, so there's something wrong with this map. Okay, window, rendering editors, hypershade. And it looks like it baked the ambient occlusion, but not it did not bake the normal map. Huh, that's weird. And then it threw the bump map on the Lambert. That's strange. Okay, so let me look at what happens here. Just display that again. Now make sure that both meshes are showing up. And I got normal map. And I'm going to just focus on the normal map real quick. It's probably a fluke. I'll call this uh, power 
underscore TGA. Well, power, normal map, just like that. TGA format. I just unchecked this. I didn't get rid. I didn't get rid of it altogether. I'll hit envelope just to make sure that this is all good. And bake. There we go. So there's my normal map. Okay, so I got a range of few things. It looks like Lambert 5 is what should be on the mesh. Here's all my materials. If I click Lambert 5, I'm looking for the one with the bump and I can hit right here. So now I should see that normal map. I can middle mouse button click and drag it over to the low poly mesh. In most cases it's already installed but just in case. Wow that looks really nice. Okay I see some flaws but easy repair. So let me turn off wireframe on shaded and show you what that looks like. See, I get the high res detail on a very low res mesh. Okay, some repair. Right here, even though I adjusted the envelope, it still had problems. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is toggle that on and move this back just a little bit. I'm going to also add this to a new layer so I could toggle it on and off. There, and I can toggle both on and off. I'm going to put my blue back on my outfit here and just start adjusting some of these polys. What I'm looking for is adjusting this area right here so it sets back further. Now you could do this in several ways. You could do it with edges. W on a keyboard. I can move these back. Yeah, it looks like it's actually sitting pretty close. So I'm going to go back to here, turn both of them on, and go back to my transfer maps. I'll display envelope and see if that envelope is now not touching. Okay, looks good. These are the problem areas right here. And you're going to have to constantly adjust stuff until you get it down pat. Do you have to get it perfect? No, just semi-perfect. Okay, in this case... I lowered it to 1.2 and rebake. Okay, that made it worse, so I'm going to put 1.4 or 1.5. Again, make sure all meshes are here. Sometimes they like to climb out and not be there. So my low and my high, my high needs to be put here.
Ooh, that's getting better. Okay, so it wants to go up. Some things I can adjust in the post, like in Photoshop. I'd say that's pretty good. I'm not going to get more greedy than that, and I'll adjust it in post. Make sure everything else turned out okay, and it did. All right, now that I have both maps, we'll look at the next video and play around with post fixing.